Today, we're going to explore a case that sent shockwaves through Ireland. The gruesome and brutal murder of Farah Swail Noor, a Somali refugee living in Dublin. This is the story of the Farah Noor case. Farah Noor's life took a tragic turn when he became involved with Kathleen Mulhall, a relationship fraught with volatility and abuse. Kathleen had two daughters, Linda and Charlotte, who would eventually play a sinister role in this twisted tale. Noor's life became intertwined with Kathleen Mulhall, a woman who was already in a troubled relationship with her own history of violence. Kathleen had two daughters, Linda and Charlotte, who were both brought up in an environment marked by dysfunction and instability. The relationship between Noor and Kathleen was characterized by a toxic mix of volatility and abuse. Arguments and confrontations were all too common, creating a backdrop of constant tension and danger in their lives. March 20, 2005, would become a night forever etched in infamy. A heated argument between Noor and Kathleen spiraled into a violent confrontation. Linda and Charlotte Mulhall intervened, and chaos ensued. During the struggle, Charlotte slashed Noor's throat with a Stanley knife, while Linda struck him on the head with a hammer, resulting in his untimely death. The night started like any other in their tumultuous household. Noor and Kathleen were involved in a heated argument, one of many in their troubled relationship. The exact details of the argument remain a mystery, but it escalated to a point of no return. It was during this altercation that Linda and Charlotte, Kathleen's daughters, decided to intervene, perhaps to protect their mother or out of their own frustrations. What transpired next was a shocking eruption of violence. Charlotte, in a moment of unimaginable brutality, slashed Farah Noor across the throat with a sharp Stanley knife. The scene must have been horrifying, with Noor's life hanging by a thread. Linda, not to be outdone in this gruesome act, delivered a crushing blow to Noor's head with a hammer, sealing his fate. It was a nightmarish culmination of rage and brutality that would change their lives forever. After Noor's death, the horrific tale took an even darker turn. The two sisters, Linda and Charlotte, made the chilling decision to dismember his lifeless body. This macabre act of using a kitchen knife and a hammer to cut apart a human body is a disturbing testament to the depths of their depravity. With the remains of Farah Noor's body now dismembered, Linda and Charlotte made a chilling choice. They disposed of the grisly evidence by dumping the body parts in the Royal Canal, a seemingly serene river that would forever hold the sinister secret of their heinous actions. The events of that night stand as a stark reminder of the horrors that can unfold within the confines of a home, even in the most unexpected circumstances. It is a night that no one involved will ever forget, and a night that would leave an indelible mark on the history of Irish crime. Days later, a gruesome discovery was made when a piece of Noor's leg was found floating in the Royal Canal. The Gardaí, Ireland's police force, launched a meticulous investigation and soon identified Noor as the victim. Linda and Charlotte Mulhall were arrested and charged with Farah Noor's murder. In a trial that sent shockwaves throughout Ireland, they both pleaded not guilty. However, a jury convicted them, and they were sentenced to life in prison. The Farah Noor case sent shock and appalled the Irish public. It stands as one of the most horrifying murders in Irish history. The case also shone a spotlight on the dire issue of domestic violence and its devastating impact on families. Over the years, this chilling case has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and television shows. It remains one of the most notorious and talked about crimes in Irish history, serving as a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk within even the most seemingly ordinary situations. This is the tragic and disturbing story of the Farah Noor case, a reminder that the most heinous crimes can happen even in the most unexpected places. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gripping stories like this. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you in the next video.